Hi guys, welcome back ulit sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, i-discuss naman natin yung differentiation ng inverse trigonometric functions. So basically, this is still part of the differential calculus ng subject natin. So ito yung mga formulas, mga lodi, nilist ko na. So paano ba yung madaling paraan ng pagkakabisado niyan? So dapat kabisado mo yung mga basic, yung sine, yung tangent, tsaka yung second. Bakit? Ang, ang derivative ng arc sine ng u, that is equal to du over square root ng 1 minus u squared. Ang palatandaan lang, kapag arc sine positive, ang kapartner niya cosine. Kapag arc cosine, that's negative. Okay? May negative du. Kapag arc tangent naman, du over 1 plus u squared. Pag arc cotangent, ine-negative nyo lang yun mga lodi. So, tandaan nyo sa inverse trigonometric, itong dalawa yung magka-partner, arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent, arc cotangent, arc second, tsaka arc cosecant. So, this is, ang derivative ng arc second, du over u square root of u squared minus 1. Kapag arc cosecant, may negative lang mga lodi. So, ano yung mga positive? Yung sine, arc sine, yung arc tangent, at tsaka yung arc second. Tandaan natin yung mga lodi, ha? So, ito yung mga positive. Ito, ito, at tsaka, ito. Ito, i-negative mo lang pag arc cosine. I-negative mo lang kapag arc second. Ay, kapag arc cosecant. I-negative mo lang kapag arc cotangent. So, ito mag-partner. Tapos, itong dalawa. Okay? So, sagot tayo ng problems. Mga apat na problems, mga lodi. Okay, for problem number one, differentiate each of the following with respect to x. For number 1, so arc tangent ng 3x. So, i-differentiate daw natin mga lodi. So, let's say that is y na lang para mas maganda. So, ano yung derivative ulit ng arc tangent? That is du over 1 plus u squared. So, that is dy over dx. That is equal to du. That is derivative ng u. Ano derivative ng 3x? That is 3 all over 1 plus u squared. Kapag sinimplify, the final answer is 3 all over 1 plus 9x squared. So, ito na po yung derivative natin. So, di ba madali lang mga lodi? Basta alam mo yung mga uh, derivative nila. Kung kabisado mo, walang problema. Basta ang kailangan mo lang kabisado yung arc sine, arc tangent, arc second. Tapos partner, partner na yun. Okay, next problem, number 2. So, for problem number 2, we have arc cosine ng 1 minus x. So, i-adjust natin to. Let's say, yung equation natin is y equals. So, paano ulit yung derivative ng ano? Arc cosine. O, yung nga pala, yun yung negative, sir, ij. So, that is negative du all over square root of 1 minus u squared. So, it follows that dy over dx that is equivalent to negative derivative nito. Anong derivative ng negative x? That is negative 1 all over square root of 1 minus u squared. Mga lodi. Then simplify natin. 1 all over square root of 1 minus 1 minus 2x plus x squared. So makakancel yung 1. It will become 1 over square root of negative negative positive negative. Therefore, ito na yung derivative niya mga lodi. So, dapat mga idol, huwag natin kakalimutan yung du, ha? baka makaligtaan natin yun. Ang kabisado nilang natin yung 1 over square root of 1 minus u squared. Mali yun kasi we are still applying chain rule dito. Okay? Next, number 3. For number 3, ang given, arc sine ng 4x quantity, quantity squared. Quantity, <laughs> kaloka. So, quantity dapat mga lodi. So, y equals arc sine ng 4x quantity squared. So, ito na yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina, mga lodi. Ito yung gagamit tayo ng chain rule. That is yung power, ba? Ang derivative ng x raised to n, that is n x raised to n minus 1. So, ang gawin mo, itong 2, ibaba mo yan. So, that is dy over dx. That is equal to 2. Binaba mo, nabawasan na siya ng isa. Pero, mga lodi, ano nakalimutan? Yung derivative pa ng loob, sir, ij. So, paano natin kukunin yung derivative ng loob? So, that is times, ano derivative ng arc sine? That is du over square root of 1 minus u squared positive po, sir, ij. So, mangyari nyan, ang derivative ng 4x, that is 4 
over square root of 1 minus u squared. So, kapag sinimplify natin, 4 times 2, that's 8. Therefore, the correct answer is 8 arc sine 4x all over square root of 1 minus 16x squared. So, di ba napakadali lang mga lodi? So, hindi ka naman masyado nahihirapan na, no? Next, last number mga lodi. For number 4. So, ang hinahanap natin is ano daw yung derivative ng arc cosine arc cosine ng sin x mga lodi. So, paano natin kukunin yung uh, derivative nyan? So, ganun pa rin. So, chain rule lang. Ano ulit derivative ng arc cosine negative du all over square root of 1 minus u squared? So, that is equal to dy over dx that is uh, du negative du ano derivative ng sin x mga lodi cosine x yung negative ba natin yung du ah, multiplied by ang derivative ng sin x that's cosine x all over square root of 1 minus u squared yan mga lodi so ano mangyari dyan negative cosine x all over square root of 1 minus sine squared x eh pero hindi yun yung final answer bakit sir ij kasi nga etong square root ng 1 minus sine squared x that is 1 ano galing yan sa ano pinaka simple yung pythagorean identity natin that is from sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1 so pag nilipat mo yung 1 minus sine squared x ano mangyari mga lodi negative cosine x ang mangyari dito cosine squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x e square root yan so ang square root nyan cosine squared pareha sila nag extract ka lang ng root so pwede mong sabihin that is plus or minus cosine x therefore ang derivative nito that is equal to plus or minus 1 so di ba pwede pala yung ganun sir IG yung derivative maging constant oo mga lodi basta pwede natin siyang isimplify so ayun, mga, just in case meron kayong ay may, wait lang muna, shout out muna pala kay ano, sa mga lodi ko kay Justin, tsaka kay Jose Reyes so nag-aaral sila sa PLM mga lodi BS Mechanical Engineering so ayun, uh, thank you so much for listening mga lodi, just in case may questions or clarifications, okay, may uh, maraming maraming salamat po palain kayo lagi ng Panginoon, God bless